Kulanu Godu von der Jem Hayeledes von Schleischetz Rishona. Was auf der Ruhe sagt, ist, dass ich mir fehlisch in Seele an nie Hayem Jeli die Tiche, an das Geta, wenn sie geht, rein die Nefesh, die Dusche, wenn sie dort der Jem Hayeledes von 13 Jahren. Wir sagten sehr chodosh, ademulti das Ayin von Asim Chaschupo, bis am Vergleich das Amogor zu Ayin von Martin Tere, wo das ist ein Hefet Muven, benigle, demult, wird mit der Chamechuye, betere und mitzweiser. When one became Bar Mitzvah, the whole family would go to the Rebbe for a bracha in honor of the Bar Mitzvah bracha. And it was known when boys would go into the bar mitzvah, the Rebbe would sometimes ask them questions. Sometimes they asked them questions on their pilpul. They would give over a Talmudic discourse. The Rebbe would ask questions about what they're going to say. So my great uncle, Leibish Ryan, he wrote a pilpul for his oldest son, 30 pages typed. And it was all about a subject called Hasmona Milsa, which is very complicated sugya. Before you go to Chiddush, you say to him to prepare yourself, and my whole family is coming with me. Saying to him that Rebbe should hear me either on the Maimir or on the Shulchan Aruch, and, and not on my pupil. Anyway, going to Chiddush, and, uh, and the Rebbe turns to me and he says, Learn the Maimir? So I said, yeah. Did you learn the Hichas film? I said, yeah. I said, I'm smiled again. I said, you know, I'm a Rebbe and pupil. So let's talk about the pupil. The Rebbe asked me like six or seven questions on the Pope. The Machlech is a Bayi Barabba. The Baruch Hashem, I knew all the answers. And then the Rebbe said to me, forget everything you learned about the Pope. What do you personally think the, the logic behind the crux of their argument is? The Rebbe gave me time to think and I came up with an answer. Obviously, it wasn't a very uh, profound answer. And then the Rebbe gave me a most beautiful bracha. When I went in, the Rebbe asked me, are you going to Chazar and Maimer? I said, yes. The Rebbe said, then say it. The Rebbe wanted to hear me say it. So I began to say the Maimer. And the Maimer starts off by saying that the Yidden said to Hashem, that we'd really love to be studying Torah day and night, but we just don't have the time. So Hashem said to the Yidden, Kaimu Mitzvah Tfilin, you should observe the Mitzvah of Tfilin, and this is feeling something so powerful that I will consider it as if you've been studying Torah day and night. So at this point, the Rebbe interceded with the same tune of the Maimah, like continuing my tune. And he said, Abedu, with the Hosnish Kindaigis, Aparnasa, Kesta Harbin Terebat Tagmanach, Kesta Shade said the tune. It's an empowerment. So obviously the Rebbe empowers you to be able to invest yourself in learning Torah day and night. Unser Bechor hat sein Bar Mitzvah im nächsten Jahr mit dem Chofei Adar. Er wird sagen, sagen der Meimer, sagen der Pilpo, der Hoss ist Tfilin, und sagen, er sagt am Reit, Mishnai ist, wir wissen, wir haben uns gewohnt lernen, zu lernen, der Parsha, wie er Chofei Adar. Der Riecher ist nicht, dass er in der Kirche lernt, nach Pesweine, oder der Lernen, und der Rabbi sagt, es ist nicht mehr gesehen. Aber es wird nicht gehen, in Jannem Schultechen, the <laughs> 
It was before my bar mitzvah, and the Rebbe asked me at that time what, what I had seen on Eastern Parkway. I, I was in a spoil, I mean, what I knew Shemitah Yitzel I've seen, I couldn't figure it out. So he said to me, what did you see? And then he was mad gished it. What did I see? I said, I saw people. He said, you didn't see the trees? There are two types of trees on Eastern Parkway. One tree grows by itself, and the other tree has a black iron gate around it to grow straight and tall. So surround yourself with terror and mitzvahs, the way a Ben Terror is supposed to surround himself, and you grow straight up like that tree. As it is written in Pirkei Oves, the trees that have strong roots, the greatest of winds will not destroy it or turn it down. I never dealt with people who were heads of, you know, big institutions, people who had influence over tens of thousands of people. At the same time, the Rebbe, with the same uh, devotion and dedication and concentration would speak to a child by the dollars. It's going to be Bamed in March. March? Yeah, Parsha Kisisa. Kisisa, yeah. You know, after Kisisa, that it says that the Lord, that means that he will lift up his life and his head to do a big sum of stuff. Very good. Everybody talks how the Rebbe, you know, is able to engage anybody out there, but really, I thought about it then, that's not what happens. The Rebbe takes a 12 and a half year old and brings them up to a level that they can actually engage with the Rebbe. So that he brought out to me that there's no way in the world that I ever could come up with an idea why has Mon and Milsi you know, in the age of 12 and a half? Because the Rebbe sort of brought it out in you and gave you that ability. This production is made possible through the generosity of the members of the GEM Foundation.